first of all, you're welcome to our consuming machine. And uh, this video, I'll be treating a very crucial part of the machine, which is industrial weaving machine 737. I've had this question with and this challenge to a lot of my customers asking questions on uh, how they can pass their industrial weaving machine trade, which has been a very tiring and frustrating activities because if you don't pass the trade right, you won't get the work. And when you're not getting the work, then why the machine? So, to have very neat work, to have a very neat job here, I will be treating it one after one, preset on one preset, or now you can easily pass your email, Juki, regardless of the brand, how you can easily uh, pass the trade. Now, this must be very straightforward with you, that on this passing, I'm using my five-step principle. Five step. Don't forget this five. When you forget this five, you might forget the back, front, front, back. You won't get it now. But I'm using my principle of five steps, front, back, uh, front, back, back, front. This is how it happens that you pass five O's. One, two, three, four, five. When you pass the five O's, listen to this theoretical part. But it's very important. When you pass the five, then you go from back, front, front, back. If you can remember this, regardless of any time you are passing your machine, you will get this report. Now, let's go directly to the machine. So, this email 737F, that's the brand name, and I'm having my daily trade here. I ensure that they are white, so because it's not because of anything, but so you can just enjoy it and to be a bit feasible on the machine. So, you have the trade one, two, three. This thread goes thus. I'm using this thread also to number the machine. If you can see, we have one, two, three. So we assume this to be one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So let's start from, let me start from number one. Let me start from number one. Now, you should know that from here, down to this place, down to this place, to this side is constant. You don't need to start numbering from that side. So we won't start numbering from where it is constant. So from this side, putting it here, I assume it to be also also to be constant. I assume it also to be constant. So you put it to you should not omit this side in as much you are a fashion designer, you are sewing anything, you're working in a factory, you should not omit this side. So now, this thing is constant. Let's do another constant activities. Another constant activities we are doing now is we are putting it to these holes. You can see they are constant. Don't forget they are constant. So anything that is constant, we are not counting it. We are not counting it. They are constant. Yeah. I've done the three. So let's proceed to another constant activities let's proceed to another constant activities so this we have to come here one these two will come in between these two plates two and this guy to three we've done another constant activities so from these three now these two guys has one special O that this guy is not having these two tension as the O that this guy is not having so but yet, we have to pass it. Note, we are not starting our counting from here. I'm just doing some, some required uh, things that you must not make mistake with. And uh, no, I don't think the probability of you making any mistake here is high. It should be around 0 0.2. It should be around 0 0.2. So, after doing these three, the next thing we are doing now, let me start with one. So, now we will start counting. Now we will start counting. So let's count. For this number one, we're counting one. We're counting one, two, three, four, five. After this five, you find your way down. Let me count again. One, two, three, four. Five. After this five, you find your way down. You find your way down. So this side now, there is one issue here. 
if you notice we are having three holes is one two three we are having three holes and these three holes we are having one two three do you see it so you can put it in any of it but me i just put it at the middle i'll put it at the middle and we'll just bring it out so that's that that's that about that i'll just bring it out so now the next thing we are doing is we are passing these three guys one two three one two three can you see them we are passing these three so they go dots checking it this one this guy you just bring it up just bring it on it you can see so it's not it's not at the top and that's we've passed one two three and four one two three and four as you can see so let's pass the fifth one i will find our way down this is the fifth one don't forget counting five just don't forget counting five so we count our five let's find our way down so on your way down if you've been if you are used to machines before if you are used to machines before you just just put it in here you put it like this then you pass your needle you pass your needle so for now i'm not putting it in the needle and the reason is that I want you guys to, I will explain it over the time I'm done doing this too. Because sometimes you have to have fixed these two loopers before you pass the needle here. Because if, if it intercepts this lower looper, your machine will also. So that's why I'm waiting for that. So I'm done with the other two, that's when we pass this. So let's proceed with the other two. So let's do these two guys. Let me start. Open these two. Open them. Now I'm always having issue. I don't like this this stage either of putting the thread in this hole. Sometimes it can be frustrating, but I play this one out. Okay, this one. And uh, let me do the other one. No, now the two is down. Let's start counting our five. Remember, I told you five, right? So let's start counting. This one. Notice what I'm counting now. Please pay attention. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like I always tell you, whenever you are watching my video or you are seeing something in my video, make sure, make sure you are with your machine for better understanding. Don't just stream my videos on bed. Oh yeah, don't stream it on bed. You want to go and practice it. No. Stay with your machine. So, let's start. I'm starting with, now I'm done with one already. So, I'm doing two now. So, let's do two. Let's go. The second one now. Let's start. We start by counting one, right? So this one, this two, this three, this three, then four. After four, Then five. Now, you might not see any 
you might not see what's it called any senses in this thing now because it's still possible you have made a mistake or why you are trying to get it you get a mistake there so, so i'm doing this that's why i'm doing this too uh interceptively now let's do this guy the first one one then two then three four now five Sorry, my looper, my uh, picker dropped. Now, so let me explain this thing to you in details. Make sure you are seeing it clearly. Can you see it? So, it is very clear. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Notice, none of this thread is crossing each other. Angle or the parallel line do not touch. Hope you notice. If you can remember our secondary school mathematics there. Angle or the parallel line do not touch each other. So these guys are not doing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They are two parallel lines. They must not touch. They must not intercept. If they should intercept each other, then you've not passed your machine trade. They must not intercept. You can see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm taking my time to explain it to you so that you don't have to download the video or you have to stream it twice. I just want you to know it's straightforward. So after this five now, I'm doing the last step called the back front, front back. You might be looking at me like, what's wrong with this boy? Ooh, why, why five first? Now you understand the five first now. So let's do the back front, front back now. Let's do it. Let's go. Now, after here, just keep focusing on, make sure you are focusing on me. After here, now you can see that I say, oh yeah. As you can see, I say, oh yeah. This is the back front. You can see it's coming back to us. This is the front side of it. You can see it's coming back to us, right? So the next one is the front back. See how it goes. See how it goes. Pay attention to it. The front back. So the front back. Then we are done with the second trade. Are you seeing it? One, two, three, four, five. After the fifth one, back front, front back. Are we seeing it? So let's finish this other guy too, so we can pass the other thread. One, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth one in case you don't see it. Five. Are you seeing it? That's it. So after this side, the next thing we are doing now is I'll have to take this thread because the other O I'm passing is no is not somewhere near so I'll bring it to a space here to a space here you see the space clearly now can you see the space can you see it is very clear from here from my hand here I'm bringing it directly here it must not intercept uh, or cross anything if you can see clearly from the camera, you can, you can notice that from the fifth position it's entering here, it's coming directly out here. So from here, you turn your machine to the back, or you turn your machine to the back, then you do back front. Now bring it to the front. Please notice it's in between this O, not outside this O. When you brought it outside this O, outside this side, like beginning from here, you 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 end up having a frustrating day because the machine will not work at all. So it must come 
from here. When it comes from here, you enjoy it. Now, this is back front. The other time I was explaining to us that we should not pass this, that we should not pass this side first. Now, if I've passed this side, by the time I'm rolling this guy to pass it, they will have this guy will have picked the thread from this from this needle and putting it here, I will just the the thread will not go easily. And when the thread is not going easily, your machine will not move. So after I'm done with my back front here, sometimes some guys prefer them passing their thread from here, which I do sometimes, but sometimes I don't do it. So you can decide to pass from here, but it's not really that convenient. So just throw your machine again to the front. When you roll it to the front, when you roll it to the front, you just bring back this thread. The same way you throw it to the back, you bring it back to the front. When you bring it back to the front, you put it here. Now, we've passed these two guys here. Yeah? So, all I will just do now is I'll pick the two and I'll bring them forward here. Yeah? So, make sure they are not intercepting anything, they are not crossing anything. That's one of your. That's very, very, that's very important. The machine will not be the one to prevent that. It is you that will prevent it. So, now you can see these two threads are straight they are not crossing they did not cross each other right from the beginning here down to their final state the two threads are not crossing each other so now let's do the last let's complete it from the needle side let's complete it from the needle side now i'm passing the needle Passing the needle. Yeah. Now, I have my three thread. If you can see, they are not, they are not, this, they are not touching each other. If you can see it clearly, the upper one is there. The second thread. This is. It. This is the first. This is the second. Why this is the third? That's how it should be. If you can get it to this extent, you've successfully passed your machine. If you notice, immediately you just roll it to the back, then your machine is weaving. Then your machine is just weaving straight forward. You don't need, you can see it's locking it. You can see it's locking it. Uh, we call this machine interlock. Some call it weaving machine. So you can see it's locking it. So thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share with your friends that you're both doing this fashion work of a thing. Thank you very much.